words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hey, welcome to the Essence of Man and the Power of Speech. We are on day 105, and this is going to be a good one. Uh, one affects the other. That's the name of today's <clears throat> topic. One affects the other. Um, let me read you a scripture first. Let's go to 1 Corinthians uh, 12, 26. Actually, let's go to 25. That there should be no schisms. That's important. Schisms. Strife. Um, things that cause evil speech are caused by evil speech. In the body. But that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffereth, all the members suffer with it or one member be honored all members rejoice with it now we are the body of Christ and members in particular um, let's say you're on a boat okay uh, like a cruise ship I don't I don't care if, I don't I'm not interested in cruise ships um, I'd rather fly. <laughs> but let's say you're on a cruise ship. And let's say <laughs> that uh, all of a sudden you see one of the passengers in his own seat start taking a drill. Because he's mad at himself or he's got issues in his own heart, we'll just say. Let's say he takes that drill and he starts drilling into the boat. Uh, finally, there's a hole in the boat. Water starts coming through the hole that was drilled. And he keeps drilling. And you say to him, hey, stop. Don't you see what you're doing? You're causing us to drown. His response is this. Um, I'm not doing anything to you because this is my seat. I paid for this seat. But you're seeing that the water is coming from the hole that he drilled under his seat and the water is getting into the boat. You see... It doesn't matter what seat it is, whether it's your seat, his seat, her seat. When one person speaks evil, it affects the whole boat because it affects the whole body. And and, and, and this is what evil speech does. This is what... Uh, LaShawn Hora does the you know the the guy isn't focusing on anybody else he's focusing on his seat he's drilling on his seat that he paid for he's trying to take revenge in a odd way and you see when you seek revenge or speak evil it is yourself who is tormented and hurting. 
when people are speaking evil, it's actually them that are tormented. They're the ones that are hurting. And it's almost like that person drilling a hole in their boat or in, in, in the boat that everybody else is on. My seat. I paid for it. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, but the problem is you paid for the seat, but it ain't your boat. And there are many lives at, at stake. You were bought with a price. It's God's body. And there are many others at stake. This is the premise of the body of Christ and what it means to be one. And that when we have bitterness, jealousy, strife, envy, and we speak evil, it's the equivalent of drilling in your own seat that you paid for, but the body, the boat, does not belong to you. It belongs to God, and the problem is other people are getting damaged in the process. I'll read this scripture one more time. 1 Corinthians 12, 26. And whether one member suffer, all members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ. And members in particular. Um, yeah. One sin, the sin of one, affects everyone. Adam and Eve. And the good news is, because of one man's sin, death reigned, but because of one man's obedience, life came. But yet, when it comes to speaking evil, and when it comes to bitterness and strife, it affects the whole body. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. All right? Hey, we'll see you next time on The Essence of Man and the Power of Speech. Have a good one.